thinking of uh, two power right so when you say two power five then you can represent up to 32 bit 32 different combinations when you have two power four you can represent up to 16 different combinations okay that's the meaning of that so now we'll move to the next one decimal to hexadecimal so positional value of uh, decimal hexadecimal can be represented like this that is 16 power 0 how you have uh, represented with the decimal number that is 10 power 0 10 power 1 10 power 2 and so on likewise for hexadecimal it is 16 power 0 16 power 1 2 3 and so on from the right to left so now how you can find uh, equivalent a uh, decimal equivalent of uh, decimal to hexadecimal okay given the de decimal number you have to find the hexadecimal equivalent means divided by 60 likewise how you did for binary decimal to binary means you divide it by 2 decimal to octal means divided by 8 same way decimal to hexa means divided by 16 and place the remainder separately now when you do this you will have this value and 139 so this is your answer now one you can represent as such for 13 you have to write the hexadecimal equivalent okay so 13 equivalent is what this is 30 okay decimal its equivalent is d which means and its equivalent binary is this but we are going to represent in uh, hexa so 13 equivalent is d so that is what here we have instead of 13 we have written d and then 9 now when you convert it back to decimal so 9 into 16 power 0 then d D is nothing but you are 13. Equivalent you substitute here in decimal. So 13 into 16 power 1 and 1 into 16 power 2. Now, as usual, you do the ordinary multiplication. You will be getting the uh, decimal equivalent of this hexa. Same way you do all these, uh, some more examples are there. 10175, you divide it by 16, you get these values. And how you will represent 2 as such, no problem. You write 2, then 7. For 11, its equivalent is, what is it? 11, this is decimal number. 11 equivalent of x i is b. So that is what here we have written. Then 15. 15 equivalent is what? f. So 27 b f. This is the hexadecimal equivalent. Now, if I want to verify back, then again, f into, f is nothing but you are 16, sorry, 15. So 15 into 16 power 0, then again, b equivalent is 11. So 11 into 16 power 1 and so on. Add all those things, you will be getting this number. Then one more example, 1830. So divided by hexa, you get uh, this value. That is divided by 16, you get this value, 7, 2, 6. Again, the same process, six power verification process, 6 into 16 power 0, 2 into 16 power 1, 7 into 16 power 2. You get this answer. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Now, what we have seen is decimal to hexadecimal, just now we have seen. The reverse, hexadecimal to decimal. So, how you will, uh, already we know the positional value. Now, how to represent the given hexa to decimal number system. So, actually that is what here also, here itself we have seen. This conversion itself is, uh, this is a hexadecimal number. You convert it into decimal. Equivalent already we have seen. And that is what here also we have, we have seen. Uh, 1, B, 9. So, 9 into 16 power 0, equivalent of D is 13. And so, on. so this is your uh, decimal number. So the previous example only I have written here because since we have already seen it there, the reverse conversion also we have seen that. So this is one new example, ABC 16. It is given in hexadecimal. Write it equivalent. For C it is 16 power 0, B into 16 power 1, A into 16 power 0. C equivalent is 12, B equivalent is 11, A equivalent is 10 then do the multiplication add it you will be getting this as your decimal number 
okay now we have seen decimal to binary binary to decimal decimal to octal octal to decimal decimal to hexa hexa to decimal and octal to binary and binary to octal now we'll see binary to hexa since uh, here in octal we take 3 3 digit of binary number since hexa decimal you can represent with four digits because up to 15 means you need four bits representation for up to 70 to 7 you need only three bit of representation isn't it that is what we have seen in here uh, in jam that is it yes up to two digit means four bit four, four combinations up to three bits means you can represent up to 0 to 7 that is 2 power 3 so where you need four bits that is 1 2 3 4 so when you have four bits you can have 16 uh, different combinations which is used for representing from 0 to yeah so here what we have is we are going to represent binary to hexa means we have to take four four bits we'll see that so let us take 306.d this is the hexadecimal now how you will be representing a d you have to represent naturally d you will be representing with four digits yes or no so 1101 it's equivalent you have written then dot 6 6 how you will represent 0110 this is for 6 and for 0 all four zeros and for 3 it is 0011 so you have to represent it with four four bits okay so this is this is how you represent now let us take one more example this is a binary number here hex to binary is given a binary to hex so this is the binary number given you have to start uh, taking a four four bits from right to left so 1010 mark it like this here only we have three bits but no problem previously Uh, prefix you will prefix it with zero. So now if you say this equivalent is five, and for this equivalent is it is b, then for this equivalent it is five b five. So this is the x, and this is in binary. So already we have seen octal to binary also. In octal to binary you take it as three three bits. Here just why I have shown here is to show the difference between binary to x and octal to binary. For that only this example is given. So five, four, six, seven, three means three. You can represent a three, seven, three, three bits. Okay. So the reverse is here. Uh, here this is a hexa. This is what we have seen. It's only an example. This I am just showing the equivalent. Okay. So seven, you can represent. This is a hexa decimal. X to binary is. You have to represent since it is a hexadecimal. You can represent only it as in the in terms of four bit. So A you represent one zero one zero for this B for eight it is one zero 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 and seven zero one one one. So after seven itself you can you have to represent go for four bits. If you want to represent eight you have to go for four bits only. So this is how you represent. So to see here this is a binary number. now after this dot you have to start marking four four bits from left to right this like this not like this because after decimal you have to go like this whereas before decimal you have to go like this this from this side you have to take four four bits but here you have to take from left to right four four bits so when you take for this it is f for this it is 2 and here it is 1011 is b and this is 6 And this is C, and this is two. You can add two zeros before whatever it is. Two zero 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 one zero is two. So hexadecimal to binary. So this is hexadecimal. You have to represent it with four four bits. F for equal and all ones. A one zero 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 and one. So likewise, you can represent for hex two. binary now take down this table this is for your exercise so what you have to do is i'll explain this table decimal number is given 
now you are supposed to convert this to its binary equivalent octal equivalent and hexa in this the binary is given you have to find its decimal its octal and hexadecimal and so on here octal is given you have to find its binary decimal and then hexa and so on is that clear girls yes ma'am so note down this uh, tabular column all of you take this as an exercise and coming friday uh, you start doing all the assignment problem and this coming friday i'll post the assignment link where you have to upload your assignment in the gcr is it clear ma'am yes that day you gave six sums right ma'am yes i gave but i i haven't given the link for you to post it in the gcr no ah yes classroom yes you note down all these things together you can post it as one assignment okay ma'am okay okay so if you finish you tell me whether you have completed uh, taking this problem i give 2 minutes for you to copy Yes, ma'am. 